Hey guys, so this is another plant vlog and this is for my Ficus Elastica Tuneki or also known as a rubber plant or a rubber tree. Um, usually a Tuneki is just cream or due to the pictures a lot of people kind of consider it kind of like a light yellow or white and green. So this is a close-up of one of her leaves. Um, this one over here is more of a peachy color. And this one is more of like a kind of in the top is like a little peachy. And then over here is more of a deep, deeper cream. And this one is just a beauty, isn't it? It, she is just more like 95% cream and a little bit of hint of green there. She does have a little splash of peach in some of her leaves, but not too saturated. This one really is more of a peachy color. The entire leaf is. And um, the rest is really more of the cream kind of color. So a little background on this one. I wasn't really sure if I wanted the Tineki because in the pictures, a lot of times it just didn't really draw that much attention to me. Um, but then this was being sold, uh, presented together with the, um, well, at the time the Ruby pink, but apparently it's a Belize, I believe. So I just kind of thought, why not, you know, just get both plants together. Why not? And I did. And I'm so glad that I did. She is just incredibly beautiful. Um, I really don't think I would right now. <laughs> right now you never know what's gonna happen in like a day or a week or something but right now I don't really see myself as wanting to get another Tineki but again like I said right now I don't believe so I'm more focused at probably getting another uh Decora or more um the Belize I think I'm more interested in filling my home with more Belize Ficus Elastica Belize that's my personal preference um this one is away from a window. All my other Ficus Elastica Vargata, they're all next to a window. But for this one, supposedly, it has to be away from a window. It's the most, it's the most sensitive out of all of them. So she is across the room. And um, right now, she's in an east-facing window. And I'm just trying to test the waters to see if she can, you know, if there is no burning or anything. So far, there is no burning. I love it when the uh, variegation like this is whiter and these two like a different shade of green. This here and this here are different color green. This looks kind of a little like gray green. And this one too up here. This one is really like the beautiful cream. Um, I just got this. So all of these issues right here, like the dots, um, I'll try to focus. All of these came with the plant. This, this did not come with my care and all of these here. So I'm kind of hoping they're just going to stay like that. It kind of, I think though, like this is, I've only really had the, um, Varigata versions of the Ficus Elasticus. I've never really had the regular one, the green one, or the burgundy one. So I don't know if this is very regular, but as I've, I can see here, all the all the leaves are having these white dots. So I'm assuming this is okay. I I mean, aside from that, the plant really is very healthy. So let me just turn it. The problem that I'm having with this plant right now is that there was a little bit of damage, I suppose, in transit. At, um, it was more of the, the smaller leaves, which can be pretty normal. Even when you go to a local garden center or nursery and they do ship their plants or, or they order the plants, they don't grow them themselves. Sometimes you can still have like a little bit of damage. So I'm not really too worried about that. As long as the big ones really are okay, I'm fine with that. There's a little bit of like a new baby right here. Um, so as I'm, as I was educated that the, this is the cover and the inside of this is very important that that's going to be a leaf. You want to keep the cover there and make sure nothing bothers it because, um, 
from my experience with my ficus, uh, ficus lorata or the fill leaf fig that fell accidentally and the, le the uh, baby growth didn't grow anymore. It just stunted. So I would be very, very careful with that. This is something that is uncurling right now. Let me just spread it out. What a beauty, huh? And of course, there's new growth right there. And I'm pretty excited. So what I am feeding this, I will uh, link down below and share the dose and the type of products that I'm using. Just so if you're interested, if you have some kind of rubber plant or rubber tree, regular or variegated, and they're not really doing so well, or you want them to grow better, something like that, um, and you want to try something out that I've already tried and tested, so far it's really great. So we'll just wait and see. But um, I will update this when I do believe I need more updates or that I should update it. For right now, this is gonna be the part one of this particular plant vlog. So I'm hoping when I do update it, there should be at least a few growth by then, and we can see the difference, you know, comparing part one and part two, and, and so on and so forth. Um, if there's anything else that I didn't really cover, because I'm also kind of new to the rubber tree, rubber plant, ficus elastica fam, um, kind of family, let me know down below. Um, if you want to talk about this plant, there's something I'm not doing right or I could do better, let me know down below as well. I hope you enjoyed my video. You're going to hit the like button if you haven't hit the subscribe. And of course, the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. And let's just do a, a few second close up for these leaves right here so you guys can enjoy that really well. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys again next time. Oh, and before I forget, all my social media accounts are in the description section as well. Thank you. Bye.